Hi, I'm Scott Stein, senior editor at CNET. And uh, are you going back to school? Do you want a laptop? Well, buy a ThinkPad. That's the idea that Lenovo is trying to sell on the Lenovo ThinkPad X130e. Now, obviously, we're a long way from back to school season, but this educational targeted laptop is supposedly targeted at the K through 12 set. Now, of course, it's also being sold to some extent as a portable ThinkPad. And last year, the Lenovo ThinkPad X120e was one of my favorite little small laptops that I looked at that had an AMD Fusion E350 processor inside. So it was faster than a netbook, but a little more sluggish than a full-fledged laptop. And that was the compromise that you had to face with these 11-inch laptops. Now, a year later, this is an AMD E300 processor, which performs about the same. But this laptop costs $549. That still feels too high for what you're getting in here. And it is very sturdily built. And that's the big move here that's educationally targeted, at least. This laptop's lid has changed. It's thicker, but it also has curved rubberized bumpers that also protect the rest of the laptop and provide some dust resistance. This also has a sturdier hinge. So if you want to throw into a backpack and give it some stress testing. This does feel like a very thick, sturdy laptop, but it is also half a pound heavier than the X120e. 3.9 pounds, that's not far off from a regular full-fledged laptop weight, and you can feel it. And this thing is thick. It's over an inch thick. So if you're comparing it to an Ultrabook or a MacBook Air, forget it. And the other problem is that there are laptops that have equivalent processing specs you can get for less. The HP DM1Z, one of our favorite 11-inch laptops, has sold for around $399 as of last year. And so you can get one of those types of deals for a similar amount of money. Now, is it educational friendly? Well, I don't really know if this is education friendly because while it does have customizable backlids for bulk purchases and it does have a, a nice sturdy feel, I mean, it's a Windows 7 laptop. There are a lot of those. And some of the design elements I don't really like when I think about a kid using them. For instance, there is a track point here. I mean, that's a ThinkPad standard, but would a seventh grader want to use one of those? The problem is not that it sits in the honking middle of the keyboard, but the fact that its discrete buttons take up a tremendous amount of the real estate that otherwise would be used for that multi-touch click pad beneath. It's just an awkward touch that suggests that this laptop's kind of hedging its bets. Oh, yes, I want to be an educational laptop. I also want to be for small businesses. And that's the biggest problem I have with this laptop. It feels like an in-betweener, and the price doesn't really feel right. You should be probably paying something around $400 for a laptop like this as opposed to $550. But it does have good battery life, and um, you know, if you want something that feels somewhat indestructible um, for a student, maybe take a look at it. But there's really nothing special going on in this laptop that you haven't seen before. I'm Scott Stein, and this is a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X130e.